You're Sakagawea? You have the most unusual names here. Oh my what goodness. are you doing? Hi, my name is Mary Ann Bugs. I am Native American. I'm a registered member of the Caddo tribe from Oklahoma, and I'm also Cheyenne and Rapaho. My name is Silas Cleveland. I'm from Lander, Wyoming. I myself am Eastern Shoshone. I am Calder Ness from Kennebec, South Dakota. I'm Bart Ness, Chris Death. And I was raised on the uh, Lord Rule Sioux Tribe Indian Reservation, so you're also raised. I'm Brandy Lewis. I am enrolled member of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. And today we're going to be reviewing some Native American characters in film and TV. Native American and, and indigenous representation in film is quite often inaccurate and the reason for that is that oftentimes the stories are being told by non-natives. I grew up watching westerns with my dad on TV. I'd say sometimes I'd say why are we watching this movie again with these people who aren't really Indian. We called ourselves Indian in those days and he'd say well maybe someday we'll actually win because we were always the ones that got killed off or, you know, worse things. Our houses are fine. You think that only because you don't know any better. And I don't think very many natives like hearing these kind of Wait, things. There's so much we can teach you. We've improved the lives of savages all oh, over the world. Savages? savages. Uh, not that you're a savage. Just my people. No, listen, that's not what I meant. Let me explain. I... Let go. No, I'm not letting you leave. That dress kills me. It's such a Disneyland sort of take on the historical figure of Pocahontas. Savage is just a word, uh, you know, a term for people who are uncivilized. Ooh. Like me. Well, when I say uncivilized... Native Americans, I'd say we are some of the most civilized people, have been for centuries. What you mean is, not like you. For many years, I resisted watching the movie Pocahontas just because I knew it was going to be a bad representation. I really kind of stay away from these types. Like, I, I never really had our kids watch them because they're not even close to the truth, yeah, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't so, remember watching Pocahontas yeah, like, at all. I, I, She's super hyper-sexualized. But I liked when she, you know, reacted to him calling her a savage because I think that's what a lot of people think still to this day. Pocahontas in, in reality, historically, was a young girl. She was taken and forced to marry John Smith against her will, and it wasn't a beautiful love story. She had a lot of trauma in her life that I, when I read the story a long, long time ago, I really related to because I think a lot of our people are, are still to this day suffering from the trauma they experienced, whether it's this generation or past generations. Are you, you're sick? Sakagawea? You're Sakagawea? Oh, Sacagawea! <laughs> You're Sacagawea? Even in North Dakota, they pronounce it three different ways. He went There's one of your stereotypes having a Native American track someone. You're amazing. I think she's actually a, a great tracker, too. She was, yeah. It's a really big deal when you see Native Americans in film and Sacagawea being part of my ancestries and my tribe. It's, that's a pretty big ordeal to me. I was struck by her outfit because that's the next thing I look at is I try to figure out what tribe they are by looking at their dress. And it was very um, non-Native American. Yeah, it's just a stereotypical um, portrayal of her with the braids. I bet a lot of people haven't heard of Sacagawea before. And so at least it was educational from that viewpoint. I assume this is a, like a kid's movie. Technically, you're a council meeting crasher. Seen from Twilight. See? The council leaders, Dad, Quill's grandpa, and Sue Clearwater. Clearwater. Took over for Harry. Good name. Died. The Quill Utes have been a small Did he say Quill Utes? In the beginning. I don't know if that's a tribe, but maybe it is. There's 570 plus tribes in the United States, so great I don't know all of them. Shapeshifter. This is a great example of oral tradition, which is a very, very important part of Native American history. It's stories being passed down for generations. And um, now I see at the end, the they're sunset. near water and she's wearing, the older lady is wearing shell earrings. Uh, so that must be in the Pacific Northwest, I'm guessing. Actually, overall, I was really happy that uh, there were so many Native American actors making money. I think they did a good job, you know, showing the modern Native Americans. They dress like everybody else, and not every Native has a crazy name or anything, you know. They had the Seth Clearwater, I think it was, on there. Regular names, there are many traditional last names still, but not everybody's named like Pocahontas or something like that. Are you a real Indian? Hey, Indian on the cover. Wolf Clan. 
Iroquois. Iroquois? I've heard of them. As if, if he hadn't heard of that, maybe he wouldn't really be Indian. Because I tell people what my tribe is, and Caddo isn't a well-known tribe. And they say, I've never heard of that, as, as, <laughs> as if I made it up. Can you be the peacemaker? The music. I'm a poet. My name's Omri. Great spirit can be a child. To me, I don't think the great spirit would be a white child, especially. How do you know English? We know the English. The English. They suffer us to fight the French for them. I know that's true. And I wonder how many people watching this film actually caught that. That was not at all what I expected it was going to be about, Indian in a cupboard. I think a lot of people don't realize the accuracy of his comment that uh, Native Americans were employed by the English to fight the French. That's really important for people to know the accurate part of history. What I've experienced is children being told what their parents think based on what they've seen in old Westerns. And I think this would give them an alternate view of, of much closer to the truth of my people. That is really cool that it's like some magical cupboard and then he can, he can kind of learn about the tribe or like the past. One day this ranch is gonna be yours. But I don't want this ranch. What is going on? Who is this woman? Was she adopted maybe? You are ungrateful and you don't deserve this. Well, you're an Indian giver. Oh, How is promising man. someone something then taking it back this is named shocking. after us? I'm like confused because why is she blonde? Why does she not look one speck of Indian? Yesterday, I saw you try to milk a male buffalo. <laughs> Whatever, Mom. It worked. I put it in the fridge. I mean, there's. it's actually kind of funny, but elders are having a definitely playing a into like every stereotype situation. that exists. I, so. I would hope that the writers and the producers of this uh, particular show would talk to the two Native American actors that they employed to do this. I feel like it's meant to be joking about the stereotypes, actually. I guess I would want non-Native people to know that, you know, a lot of times the stereotypes that you see are so, like, overt. It's laughable. I think that the majority of the clips that I saw had inaccuracies as far as portraying Native American people. You know, I'd love to see Hollywood giving more opportunities out there to different Native Americans. I really just think it's 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 important to have Native people telling Native stories. And I think the more realistic and the more the more Natives that they bring on to these mm -hmm. sort of movies, you know, they're just there's so many interesting things with the Indian tribe. I think a lot of people would really enjoy to watch. If one of those movies made you want to learn more about Native American tribes, you should research which ones are in your state. I hope that you, the audience, don't get all of your ideas about Native American people from TV and, and, and movies, that you are encouraged to explore Native American accuracies. Um, there's a lot of books out. There are powwows that happen in every major city. And if you want to learn more about actual Native people, talk to them. <laughs>